This is the Dear Shu Mishnah Brewer. As we get back to Ochei Shabbos, we begin Simin Rish Samoch Abiz, which is the Simin of Lekadish Shabbos, Bisholchan Aruch Ubixis Nikiyah. An incredible place to pick back up discussing Kedusha Shabbos, Kavay Shabbos. You need to have your table set and your clothing clean. Says the Machaber Yisadu Shulchan of Yatsiyah Mitais, one should set the table and make the bed v'yitagi kolinyani avayis, prepare all the matters at home, k'day, so that sheyim sa'enu aruch, everything should be found, prepared, umesudar, and organized b'voyim ibeis ha'kinesis. When you come home from shul, everything should be ready. Says the Ramav Yisulchan aruch kol yoyim ha'shabis. Says the Ramav, your table should always be set. So let's dive straight into the Mishnah that teaches us that the Mishnah teaches us that what does it mean? It means should do this in Erev Shabbos for Friday night. Hamitois This refers to the beds that you're sitting upon. Even the bed that you're sleeping on should be made like Kavayid Shabbos. Aruch Sev Kanten Gimel Shazau Kavayid Shabbos. Amr Chachamin Uzal. Shnei Malachi Ashar Eiz Melav Lo La Adam Erev Shabbos. Two Malachim accompany us. Me basic in essence the base hoi. Echad hoi vech rog shabbos the base when you come home. What's in there? Dalik the candles are lit. Shalchan Aruch and the table is set to meet the mutzas. And the couches, the bevans are revered. Malach toiv aimer. The good malach says, "Yehi ratsa chikain l'shabbos abo." Should be this way for next Shabbos. O malach ra. What does he do? He's forced to answer. Aina amen bal karcha. He's forced to answer. So should be next week. Vim lavu laabach. And if not, to the opposite chas v'shalom. That of course is a klala. Then the malach toiv have to answer amen. Continues Mishmur to have lefana is kuri akavish and I know Allah calls Mishmur says you should get rid of all spider webs and abyss with the animal still day and not because the abyss of Shabbos and of course we're seeing over here that it's very practical if the king was coming you would get rid of the cobwebs you get rid of everything says the Mishmur that is the attitude when it comes to Shabbos to be zar be suda salayla one should be careful to suda at night till he is a cover be vayis chutz l'sholchan. One should not throw something on the floor. I mean, dark and chavis the vice davar amotzer unless you're going to sweep the house. If you're not going to sweep the house, then you got to be careful that you don't want to have anything on the floor because then it's going to be there the next day. Ayin simin shin lamed zayin achar suda zu kidei wash till you navel zabayis. You don't want to create a situation that your house is disgusting. Chaim suda shachris emidam v'chav doy achar kach kol kach sam kote dada alachar avdala. Your table should remain set until avdala. Yesh Noya again says, Mr. Bura, Liashne, Mapa, Yisal Shokhat, have two tablecloths on the table of Ada, Aliyana, Shalalechem. Aside for covering on top of the challah, you want your table to be covered. Why? Mishom, Shekishem, Inari, Namap, and Imsal Shokham, Migula. So that you don't want that when you shake off the tablecloth, for any moment your table should be bare. So you have a second tablecloth underneath it. So when you take off one, the other one is still there. So let's take a moment to dive into the dear shoes over here. So on Sifkat and Aleph says the dear shoe Merev Shabbos Lel Shabbos. Kshe Konen Dvarim Lel Shabbos, of course, which were the dear shoe reminds us uh, all the way back in Simon Rishon that when you buy something for Shabbos, you should say Zehu Lechavay Shabbos. Why? Because the words Poyel Harbe BeKedusha. And when you're preparing things for Shabbos, says the Kava Chayim, whatever you make, you should say it's the Kavay Shabbos. You should say, Lakayim, it says, Vechino, it says, Shayeviu. The grass of Altania says, it's good to say, and everything that you buy is out of the cover of Shabbos, and whatever you make, you should think the same thing. The more we accustom ourselves to doing it, the deeper is Paul Bekadusha, and of course, it injects holiness into our purchasing, into our preparations, etc., etc. Said there should note number two over here points out that our Chazulchan says that on the ch- nowadays we don't have beds that we sit upon, but the chairs that we sit upon should be prepared and ready to be sat upon. Getting rid of the spider webs, dear shoe note number three. If you don't remove the spider webs during the day, says the deal of David their muksa, and therefore, when people are home, says the Shem Zalman Arbach, 
It's like, Rav Shalrei, maybe you're allowed to move them. So it's a muksa sugya that maybe even a cobweb you can move with another item, etc. You should clean the house, says the Sharetzin and Reish Nun, the Makars, the Rambam, the Shalom brings down. For the Rishas Chachma, I'll be so in my remez, I'll be Kabbalah. Sometimes you wonder, really, do I have to clean the Kabbalah Shabbos? Realize, I'll be Kabbalah. We're doing incredible. In Yanim here, it's referring to specifically the cobwebs. Sayim Sham Kedei, Mo'ai Lechus Men Exad, to remove us a Gululim in Me'abayis, it's different Gululim in the cobwebs. Point of the story is, let's get rid of those cobwebs in Kabbalah Shabbos. And the Mishabur and Rishonah points out to sweep, of course, the house of Kavit Shabbos. And finally, he says that it's Toiv. God and Kosh Allah should Toiv Lizar. It's the Chatzchilim. Again, Avram says that if you don't mind, if you don't sweep your house, it's also to create a mess. The Grad says it's not an Isser, but the Mice, you should it. Again, we're seeing the importance of keeping the house neat. Now, about keeping your table covered, dear Shonah number six points out. After you move the table after Abdullah, if you can eat Lava Malka, of course, you want to have another tablecloth on from Lava Malka. Famously, I think many know that Rechaim Kenevsky used to make Abdullah take off one tablecloth, put on the next one, straight away for Lava Malka. Now, finally, the Deir Shavir points out, uh, no, excuse me, we go into Sif Beis. Says the Mishnah Bruin Sif Beis, Yishtadel, one should exert effort, one should try Shiyeloi. They should have the Gadim Nayim the Shabbos clean clothing. Then you have stuff to possible. Chuz the Shal Shell. Pierce, what does that mean? You should lower your clothing. You should have longer clothing. Klabi Mata, Shia Rukim, Gidas, Ashir, Mahishim, and Baisam. But God, the Lamata, Derek, Kavod. You want to at least look, do something. Le Kavod, Shabbos. So says Mr. Bro over here, Yishtadel, Sev Katan, hey. Dechsev, where does this come from? To have different clothing for Shabbos, says the Mr. Bro, Dechsev, Yichib, Hadatai. Your Shabbos clothing should not be the same thing as your weekday clothing. You should not wear the same thing on Shabbos you wear during the week. Even a shirt. I mean, you might say, what's the difference? Even that should change. You should have different towels for Shabbos. Nice as possible. Levado and base in Yehudim, Gangin Ilvish Vigdi Shabbos. Even if there's no Yidin around, of course you should wear Shabbos called the Ganam Abush the Chavit Arayim. It's the Chavit Shabbos itself. And this line is an important line. We sometimes get confused. What? It makes a difference if it's fancy clothing. The answer is yes. That's what we're learning over here. Different clothing, special clothing. Not to impress people, but rather for the honor of Shabbos, you changing. Don't hold the child unless you put something in your lap. Why? Of course, they didn't have diapers. You don't want to dirty your Shabbos clothing. These were long clothing. So if someone doesn't have anything else, he should at least pull down his cloak at some level to make it into a bit of a longer clothing. So he said he shouldn't wear what he wore during the week. Now what about wearing Shabbos clothing during the week? Says the Kava Chayim in Dir Shunon number 7, you're allowed. Remissi Karelitz points out, what's the reason? Um, excuse me, Remissi Karelitz point. Uh, the Kava Chayim says you should not. Why should you not wear your Shabbos clothing during the week? Why? Because it's mismayed. It decreases Kava Shabbos if you dur- during the week. Now, what about Lachgar is a Chagura Shachagir Bachol, a belt. Says the grass, we shave that result. Don't wear the same belt. The guy himself, he would change as call the god of Luloyotim and Eklal. He would have every single item special come in Shabbos. The Chazanish would even change his yarmulke. We're seeing something incredible. We think, oh, we have fancy Shabbos clothing. No. Do you have a new yarmulke? I don't. Maybe we should. The Chazanish had a different yarmulke for Shabbos. Change your shoes, says the Rabbi Elim. That's not a chiv to change for Kavit Shabbos. Shoes are not a beggar. The Kavit Chayim says, Sardin is no chiv, but Midas Chasidus, you want Shabbos shoes. Chazanish would say the same. Now, what about, now that we're seeing the critical importance to change your clothing, change your yarmulke, now it comes up, what about undergarments, the, the clothing that is touching your body? Says there, Nisit Krelet, you don't need to change this for Shabbos. Why? There's two reasons you have different clothing for Shabbos. Number one, the covet Shabbos nice clothing. Number two, clean clothing from the Kray Kodesh. And therefore, these are only clothing that you're mischabed by and that you're honored with them, of course, which is outer clothing. 
not clothing that people do not see, but inner clothing, undergarments, undershirts, etc. You don't have to have different ones for Shabbos. They should just be clean. So, one does not have to go out and buy new underwear. The covet Shabbos says of Nisik It's only clothing that you see. Now, what about a coat? And it's not an honorable item. Okay, it's not if it's a coat. It's something that keeps you warm. And you don't wear it often. It says in this you don't have to have social Shabbos. And you don't have to uh, wash them in Arab Shabbos. Why? Because they're already clean. He adds on, he's all chiv to shine your shoes. But if you do it, of course, whatever you do, the covet Shabbos. You're Mekayim, the covet Shabbos. Now, Shabbos Chazayin is a big discussion. It says the Ramah, you should not. However, you shall wear your social Shabbos clothing. Of course, we know nowadays that we do. You let it change your clothing, that you sweat in, etc., etc. And we're going to stop over here. We'll pick it up from Sif Gimbal in the next year of Siyata Dishmai.